This is Twit. Let's go to the UK. Time for a call for help. We brought him back because I just love saying Blackburn, Lancashire, UK. <laughs> Hello, John. Hello. Great to talk to you once again. I can't remember your question last time. Did we answer it? Did we help you? Yeah, I got Synology. Oh, you got a Synology. Then, you like it? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah, I love it. Good Especially choice. Especially the DS notes on it. Oh, yeah. Well, see, that was that's right. You were asking about... What, what, it's a yeah. private notepad I can use to replace Evernote. Perfect example, yeah? Yeah. So what can we do for you this time? Um, I was watching iOS today, and you recommended Infinity Photo. Um, I'm not a serious photographer. I just when I go out for runs or on my mountain bike, I take photos with my iPhone. So I've got a couple of questions about Infinity Photo. Sure. I currently use Pixelmator on the, my Apple Mac and on my iPad and on my iPhone. Um, I use... Apple Photos for my storage. I don't use anything else. I back it up to Google Photos, but I don't actually use it for anything apart from backup. Um, what I want to know is how does Infinity Photo work with Apple Photos? Because Pixelmator integrates it with right. an extension. Right. It's um, a good question, especially since uh, Affinity Photo is twenty dollars. I don't know how much that is yeah. in pounds, but it's a lot of money for it. It's, an 20, iOS it's twenty quid. It's actually twenty quid. Yeah. Twenty pound. Twenty quid. So uh, I I really like it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's forty dollars. Well, that's for the Mac. It's twenty dollars for the iPad. Oh, okay. He's asking for the iPad. Yeah, uh, they yeah, do have I'm a Mac and a Windows version for both. I yeah. okay. Here's my thought on this. Its user interface is opaque. It's very difficult to uh, figure out because they have lots of icons. I think there's going to be a learning curve on Affinity Photo. I don't find the same learning curve on Pixelmator. I really think Pixelmator is very easy to use. Pixelmator does many of the same things. I would say Affinity Photo does more, and on the iOS, on the iPad Pro specifically, I think they've tuned it to really take advantage of features in the iPad Pro. But yeah, I've got an iPad Pro. Yeah, I mean, uh, Pixelmator is if you're if you're satisfied with Pixelmator, I think you might want to stick with it. I don't think Affinity Photo has a uh, plug-in to integrate with Photos. I haven't looked real hard for it, but I haven't ever seen anything like that. I think that. you have to like go through, use Snapseed or something, like there's an extension, you have to go around. It's That's kind of a pain yeah. in the butt. But I haven't bought Affinity Photo, I just use Pixelmator and that's fine for me, like I, well, I'm not a photographer by, either. By the way, I should be clear, you yeah. can open a photo from your photo library on iOS in Affinity Photo. I mean, that's it sees the photos in your photos library. But I don't know of some sort of integration, like if you're in photos, can you send it to Affinity Pro, something like that. I don't know about that. I, I'll have yeah, to look at Yeah, the picture maker, you can just press an extension and it comes up with two options. I think one's quick edit and one's distort or something like that. Yeah. No, don't I don't have, believe you don't Affinity need does to that. Leave the photos app to so do you're that. staying in the photos app. That's nice. Actually, that's a nice feature. Yeah. I also want to point out that in High Sierra, Photos has been even more improved. Apple is, put, is putting some real energy into Photos. On the Macintosh, I, and I suspect this will migrate to iOS, uh, Photos has more, become more and more of a kind of a standalone photo editor. Not as powerful as Photoshop or Lightroom or Affinity or Pixelmator, but for a lot of people, you know, all they need. And that's, that, that's, gonna, that's gonna continue over time. It's gonna get better and better. Um, they've really, they've really put some effort into this. Look at this. You've got curves now in photos. This is, this is. You've got, you know, you've got different channels. This is becoming a pretty sophisticated editing program. I love Affinity. Twenty quid is a lot of money for an iOS app. This is the way I look at it. When I watched you use Affinity Photos, I thought, okay, you know when people use really big words and you can sort of see that they're mm -hmm. using a big word and it's like they kind of look silly? Like, I feel like that's what would happen the, to me if I used the, Affinity Photo. It's the big word of yeah. photo editing. Right, like apps. you'd look at it, my photos and be like, oh, that's obviously a filter and, yeah. you know, she should just stick with... Oh, I see what you're saying. But yeah, but look at this. So these, these kinds... For instance, Affinity supports 360-degree images and you can edit them natively i know you can't do that in pixelmator so but i only use an iphone you don't use it right take, so that's the only take with an iphone that's yeah. the decision if you are dissatisfied or there's things you feel like you want to do that you can't do with pixelmator plus photos then maybe you should look at the capabilities of affinity but if you don't if you're happy it's not better it's more it does more things and it's hard to use i would say it's a fairly the interface so is what, fairly different. So, would you what what would you say? Pixel Mate is probably like um, Photoshop Express, where yeah. Infinity Photos is like the full version of 
Yeah. Photoshop. Or more like yeah. the GIMP. I mean, it's really, it, I've never <laughs> yeah. seen anything like it. One of the reasons uh, I think Renee Ritchie likes Affinity Photo is because you can edit 360 degree uh, images. I mean, you can't do that in anything. That's really unusual. So they've really loaded it up with features. Um, I would say until you feel a need for it. I mean, it, but on the other hand, if you look at these videos and you look what they're doing, and you say, wow, I really would like to remove a gazelle from my shot you of the can, African You can do that, you can do that with Pixelmator. Pixel yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. Or right, Snapseed, right. or, yeah. <laughs> the other thing is, is uh, Affinity is more of a drawing program. I guess it's kind of like, it's, uh, Pixelmator's a drawing program as well. Uh, it's more, it's got a lot of Photoshop features as well as uh, photo editing yeah. features. Well, the only thing I really use Pixelmator for is to alter the levels and stuff like that. I think you're, if you're happy, I would stick with what you've got. Pixelmator's very, very good. Uh, you know, okay. I, Affinity is the new hotness, mm -hmm. and so that's yeah. why it's getting a lot of attention. Pixelmator was the new hotness, <laughs> uh, but I think they're doing a very good job too. Uh, what, they, what is it you say in the UK? Horses for courses? It's uh, it's never heard of that. Never heard of that one. Might <laughs> 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 might have made that one up. Uh, here in the states, we say six of one, half a dozen of the other. Mm -hmm. It's uh, I think it's a you toss. Up. Yeah, yeah. So I would, st I would stick with what you know and you like uh, until you feel like you need more. And then maybe it's time to look at Affinity. Okay. No, you just frozen and I didn't hear that. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think you I don't think you <laughs> In fact, uh, I, w I took one of my favorite photos and I p pushed it too far with Affinity. It had so much that I, I, the result was pixelated and it was, it, it's, it's almost too powerful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't need so much. So uh, I probably will stick with Lightroom, to be honest, on iOS. Yeah. Hey, thanks. It's great to talk to you, John. Yeah, thanks, John. Thanks right, for thank always you very much. Cheers. <laughs> they don't, horses for court. Did I make that up? I, I think you made that up. I think I made that up. Mm -hmm. Well, I brought up, I, I was talking about uh, Google's uh, search, Facebook's, you know, pro one of the problems, I called it a sticky wicket. That, you know, yeah. the, the free that's speech a, that's issue. A, that's a UK. That's a British thing. Yeah, yeah, Jason had never heard it before. He's like, a sticky what? A sticky wicket. Sticky wicket. When well, yeah. you play cricket. Like, you know that. Right. When the ball doesn't fall off, even if you hit it, that's mm -hmm. a sticky wicket. Yeah. So, like, Facebook's free speech problem is a sticky wicket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're just too literate for the rest of us. That's the problem. <laughs> I like use that big, Affinity Photos. That big word person. <laughs>